this is the energy vibration region for um, the Pisces Sun Moon horizon sign and I want to say to each and every person thank you this is the second quarter of the year 2018 thank you for being here thank you for being back um it is going it is going to be um, a wonderful quarter even though you're vibrating in a fire energy this quarter is fire but you have the supporting energy of fire it's gonna be a very 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 um, 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 successful quarter some of you if you have a situation to do with your father who's a tall an Aquarius um, um, there could be a situation where um, if there was conflicts it's going to get better um, you know whatever that cause was causing the conflicts is going to come to an end and um, there is going to be new um, new connection that is coming in so it's going to be um, very 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 good okay so let's look and see um, in the month of April it's your best month and June April and June is going to be you Pisces best month April um, you are going to be, be very successful um, success is going to be coming at you in April so um, look out whether it is in your study it is in your um, at your work or your home business success is coming at you April um, May is going to be a month where it's as if whatever that was blocking you is going to come to an end whatever blockages that you have is going to come to an end because it's as if um, the fire dragons came and burn whatever was blocking you and remove it away from you um, and then we have the lovers in June so a lot of you are gonna go on vacation and a lot of you are going to be connecting um, and finding a year twin flame or your soulmate okay so let's look and see what the energy of the and the devil is bringing in for you the king of swords oh my god oh my god I can do without the king of swords if I were you um if I were you Pisces ah do we doubt the king of swords let's see who else is coming in the devil and devil and the lovers devil and the lovers what's happening with the devil and the lovers uh, six of swords so you leave some you're leaving something behind the devil and the lover six of swords so some of you will be walking away um if you are in a relationship with an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra you'll be walking away from this relationship you know you'll be deciding no this is not it you're walking away because here is this king of sword um, the king and this can be a king and a queen and you're moving away from this person because you're like no I, I, I don't want to um, get involved with this person and the outcomes of your month oh my god I didn't expect this uh, outcomes of of five of cups um, five of cups in the upward position I don't know five of cups in the upward position this is not a five of cups of regret it's actually a five of um, cups of you looking at the situation before you move forward because after having the king of swords and the six of swords you're thinking let me look at this um, the situation before you look forward and as some of you this have to be um, with the, the the queen of, of, of Pentacles that you're you know you're not seeing a situation very clearly as to what is happening with the Queen of Pentacles okay so that's what happening um, with you guys so um, let's look in closely because trust me there's a lot of questions in this reading okay you have the Sun and the devil the energy of the Sun and the devil what the hell is happening with the energy of the Sun and the devil Sun and the devil there is um, new office coming in so 
um, if you have your own business if you want to change jobs because it has to do with work um, the offer is going to be coming in and the Sun and this King of Swords and the devil what is the energy with this King of Swords and the devil is a princess of cups a princess of cups this is a young person this is someone who is um, between the ages of 18 and 40 so the Sun and 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 this princess of cups whoever does this princess of cups is um, there's a situation with the Sun so you know let's like see whatever that is happening here because what is the energy with the devil and the lovers the energy with the devil and the lovers is the queen of swords the queen, but she's in the reverse form so whatever is happening she's in the reverse form she's actually coming up in this reading in the reverse form then we have um, the devil you're leaving a situation behind that has to do with the lovers and you're going to feel much happy in your family life so what is going to be the outcomes of this you are going to magically work your magic and get out of whatever is going on because you're you want to leave a situation that has to do with the energy of the sword okay this and it has to do with um the Aquarians, the Gemini, and the Sagittarians, you want to leave that sort of a situation. And this, um, this, 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 whoever it is that is an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libra, this, this person is working with this Princess of Cup that is, but this all is, 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 is getting down because the Sun is coming out for you so this woman and this man has absolutely no um, I didn't have my other cards so I could ask you know what is the situation with this um, princess of cups because this could be you um, um, Pisces that have a situation to do with the king of swords so what is this all about oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there is a love connection. There is a love connection with the Prince of Swords. There is a love connection with the Prince of Swords, but it's a karmatic lesson. So, um, you, um, ladies have a love connection with the king of swords and it is a soulmate relationship but you're looking for inner strength to deal with the situation because whatever is happening you're looking for inner strength so in the month of May because in the month of April there's a lot of stuff that is happening in the month of April actually um, with this relationship and the situation I've been seeing these relationships coming up <sighs> let's look and see the screen of swords what happened why um, was she because after she is out of the picture then your life is going to be better so this queen of swords whoever the queen of swords person is once she's out of your life your, your your love life or your relationship with your family is going to be much better because here it is because the six of swords when is this bloody woman leaving let's look and see when is this lady leaving you're going to be victorious over this thank God and it's not going to be a failure because new love is going to be coming in and the energy of the tower is going to come out so this is good so there is going to be a cleansing and a healing for this situation okay so um, what was happening here and you know what was transpiring here because um, there is so many things that I have in here for you Pisces in this quarter um, let's recap in April there is a situation that you have to deal with with the Queen that someone 
and 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 this is a situation where um, some of you women between the age of 18 and 40 you know you have a lot of offers coming in a lot of suitors but um, you are couple up and you're you know this the king of sword is a soulmate um, that comes in but you you need to have inner strength with this person because this person is really um, off, off, off their rockers um, there is just they have a totally no balance it's like a Gemini who has these two characters that you you're dealing with and it's just so weird because this man is just totally off his cuckoos you know that sort of a thing so um, darlings you you know really um, be careful what is happening because sometimes we we have these soulmates or these twin flame relationship where we come in with people who we think I cannot be the opposite of that person uh, because this guy is is really you know cuckoo okay as we move forward and we're looking at and you you um, Pisces seems to be connecting with these air sign people because here you have the energy of the king of swords and here you have the queen of swords but at least she is in the opposite position thank God for that because what she's doing is affecting your love life and when she is out of the picture then your life is going to come back in balance then everything is just going to fall in place but once this Queen of Swords and she's in the reverse form but there is a protection that is there for your family what is going to happen because um, the nine of sword is that you want to move on you want to move away from this situation and um, here you have the ace of sword and the ace of swords and then you have the seven of Pentacles which is very good and very positive because what is happening is that new love is going to come in so um, there there are positive energies that are here because you have the ace of Pentacles and the ace of swords so new ideas new situation new healing is going to be coming in um, the energy of the magician is here with a five of cups and this five of cups energy which I personally um, like for you guys is that it is an energy where um, it's not as if it, it, there is no regret you're just trying to figure out should I open that door or shouldn't I open that door because what's going to happen if I open that door because what is happening here is that there is an ending you are getting rid of this woman who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra out of your family life once and for all you are moving this person out of your family life once and for all whatever the situation whoever these people are you are actually moving them out your family life once and for all and this is going to be good so as we move forward and we're looking at the ace of swords and the ace of cups this is wonderful because whatever the situation with the ace of swords and the ace of cups is this is really a positive um, situation that is happening because um, you're overcoming a lot of obstacles you are using um, your truth and information to just cut away um, the stuff and by doing that um, you're basically opening up yourself to an awareness of you know accepting true love coming in so um, this is actually very wonderful and as we look around here we're seeing um, new love the energy of people and it's as if you know this new love is coming in and um, it's like an organization or a situation is saying oh my god you know I'm so sorry uh, and, and and this new love is coming in from an organization but yet still from the Queen of um, the, 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 the the Queen of Pentacles who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so whatever the situation is and whatever that is playing um, the men have a situation with this Queen um, the Queen of sword that needs to just get the hell out of their lives because when she does that their life is going to be in balance and this is going to be good so there was a lot of questions that was asked for you guys because 
um, and the energy of the tower comes so um, you know some of you are going to have success because whatever that was blocked in your success is going to be now um, lifted here you have remembrance so focus on on this card because um, this card is going to activate your remembrance and this is going to be um, very positive very good for you guys so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring remembrance is the energy that is here okay um, you are defending yourself against a love relationship and that sort of a thing for some of you this I love this card it's like one of my um, personal favorite because it has to do with the the Phoenix energy and this is positive this is um, the fifth dimensional energy so um, a lot of you are vibrating already in the fifth dimension because your Pisces especially the Pisces because you work with the unseen world so I connect to the God force within the Phoenix I connect with the God force within the Phoenix I connect with a God force within the Phoenix. I connect with a God force within the Phoenix. So this is going to be positive for you Pisces out there. Okay, you, this is going to be positive. So, is there any other message? Yes, um, new love is coming from an organization, and uh, um, you know, um, some of you. Uh, could be connecting with a, a, a Pisces from out of an organization this new love that is coming in is from a Pisces from out of an organization and um, this is going to be good because um, this new love is going to be bringing in wonderful wonderful experience for you and happiness and joy um, this is going to be wonderful because what is going to transpire is that a, a whole lot of you are going to realize that um, um, this person is the love of my life this person is the person I want to be with so um, you know you're going to choose um, to stand with this person in whatever is going to go on so it's 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 going to be um, one of those times so one of those situation where you're understanding yourself as a person and you're understanding that you are on um, the the verge of moving forward in you know like very 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 positive um, ways because um, you're connecting with um, positive energies so we're going to look at the love um, um, love and career for the woman the women over the age of 40 love and career for the women over the age of 40 love and career for the women over the age of 40 some of you are want to leave your work some of you want to leave your work some of you want to leave your work some of you want to leave your work behind um, good news is coming up though good news is coming up for a new work Good news is coming up for a good a new work good news is coming up for a good work and you're going to see a truth of a situation in a wisdom and guidance is coming in about your relationship okay so some of you ladies want to leave your work behind and to apply for something else go for it because you are going to be receiving that let's look at the men over 40 men over 40 what is love and career for the men over 40 love and career work and career for the Pisces men over 40 second quarter second quarter you're going to be absolutely good at your career um, there's a lot of promotion a lot of um, accolades a lot of um, um, promotion accolades um, uh, a lot of positive it's like well-known popularity um, people see your work and this is going to be extremely beautiful um, extremely beautiful so work is going to be good new offers are going to be coming in for a lot of you new offers 
from an organization and it's going to be good work is going to be just fantastic because a lot of promotions new offers new job offer is coming in from organization and this is going to be good so whatever the situation is whatever the positive whatever energies that are happening for you or whatever situation that are happening for you this is just going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful and positive so um, for you men work and um, new offers are coming in for you guys so let's look at love and career for the rest of the group let's look at love and career for the rest of the group money eight of Pentacles um, for the people between the ages of 18 and 40 you're gonna be working very very hard um, this is going to be working on your love love relationship but also on your friendship with other people and business okay so you'll be working very um, hard in all those three section some of you are going to be um, you know um, working with someone who is a Libra a Libra um, Gemini or a Aquarian I'm sorry but um <laughs> okay thank you this is why I laugh this that's why I laugh because Pisces uh, Pisces people and hair sign people don't really work okay um, and that's why I laugh and then I just pick this energy because I laugh because that's not really a good connection a good work connection I don't know because you see the Pisces are different Pisces are very psychic and all of that and um, the the Aquarians or the Gemini and the Libra is very logic and very cutting with the swords and with words and most of the time um, they're full of words and nothing behind and that sort of a thing and that annoys a Pisces um, so this is what you're going to be having you're working hard but then you have this Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and they're playing the devil's advocate and you're thinking um, please move from over my shoulder you know that sort of a thing and um, it can be just very annoying I hate people also working over my shoulder I like um, so um, this is what is going to happen for you Pisces in this quarter so um, I'm hoping I'm hoping and I'm wishing for you a very positive positive ending for whatever reason so I'm hoping and wishing a very positive ending um, I'm really really wishing you guys a wonderful success okay so namaste until next time